Australia's peak scientific body has found serious flaws in Adani's plan to protect ancient desert springs near its central Queensland mine. Concerns raised by the CSIRO threatened to further delay the controversial project just weeks after the miner said it was ready to start construction. It was the news Adani supporters were waiting for. We are starting the mine. Just last month, the miners suggested bulldozers were ready to roll on a project eight years in the making. It's imminent and so, you know, we're really in the space of talking weeks. We've jumped through all the hurdles, all the environmental requirements. Not so fast, according to the CSIRO. The agency's thrown a spanner in the works with its independent review of Adani's groundwater management plan. It's told the federal government it's concerned about how Adani proposes to minimise impacts on one of the world's last unspoiled desert oases, the Doomabola Springs. The ABC understands a key concern is how far the groundwater at the springs could drop because of the mine. The agency also found some of the data used by Adani in its plan was not verified. I think it's um, absolutely the way it should be that the CSIRO have come out and raised um, similar concerns to those which I pointed out recently. Some scientists warn the springs could run dry under Adani's plan to drain billions of litres of groundwater. You would expect our, our premier scientific organisation in the country to, to come out and require that any data gaps, uncertainties around those impacts would need to be fully filled and fully uh, resolved. The Queensland Government agrees. The State Environment Department says it won't look at Adani's plan again until it addresses the concerns. It says the company's funding announcement does not negate the obligation for all environmental conditions to be met at all times. Meantime, there can be no significant disturbance on the site, raising new questions about when construction will begin. Adani says the company welcomes the CSIRO review and works closely with regulators. It says its groundwater plan has been through 10 rounds of assessments with state and federal governments over two years. Josh Robertson, ABC News.